कि हाउ टू डिस्प्ले द रिसोर्स टू इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए पावर एच ए और एच एस एम पी क्लस्टर सो वी कैन यूज द कमांड सी एल और जी इंफो कमांड सो वेर वी कैन गेट क्लस्टर क्लस्टर रिसोर्स ग्रुप इंफॉर्मेशन एंड द स्टेट एंड देर ऑनलाइन लोकेशन लोकेशन नोट इफ यू रन द कमांड सी एल और जी इन्फो और इफ इट्स इफ इट्स ऑलरेडी द पाथ इज एक्सपोर्टेड इन द प्रोफाइल्स और यू कैन यूज द full path of the this one so that is a us or es has been cluster utilities and cl or gin for command so without uh, without any option uh, so this command it will show the resource group name and uh, state of uh, that group that is an online state or its offline state and on which node uh, it is offline or it's online so first we'll check the what is just uh, so here it's both the uh, this um, resource group is offline on both the nodes first we'll check whether the services are or in active state or in uh, in active state so we'll check the cluster services whether they are um, started on this machine so this is cl or g show srv hyphen v command it will show the status of the cluster services so here all are in operate so we'll start with the cl underscore admin command uh, so go to hsmp services and start cluster service select as uh, start cluster services uh, here um, so we can start it now and uh, so manage this automatically and correct is as we'll see uh, what is the state here so once it start the cluster services uh, the this is group uh, the group state uh, group field will uh, change the status like acquiring releasing so if you show also whatever the access look in the background so we will verify that so as of now it's offline so that means uh, the services are not yet started completely now it's verifying uh, h node one so it's very thing is there any uh, changes happen still the resource group is offline here it may take uh, it may is is a uh, full takes depend upon the application and uh, how many uh, mount points how many how many file systems are mounting so it will as per uh, according to the size of the resource group so the uh, resource group will come online and now started the services still it's offline yes uh, there is the service has started on the primary node there is a h node one we'll check the service ip still the service ip is not configured so that means the resource group uh, is not completely online and the file system also is not at mounted see you can see now the status is showing acquiring that means the resource group is bringing online on a home node one so it's acquiring here and now we'll check the ip address service ip yes the service ip is configured there is a 124 so this one is configured here and we'll check the file system also and this is the application system which is in the resource group so which is a part of a resource group and we'll take the resource group info now status cl or g info now uh, the resource group state on the h node one is online so uh, cl or g it, uh, it it creates a report that this is the location and state of one or more resource groups if you have multiple resource group here it will list uh, all the resource group here uh, and with their uh, policies uh, with their state and uh, what are the participant nodes and uh, for example uh, here apache org is online on home node so if it's a two node cluster with uh, it will take over we have so uh, we have two uh, 
because those are all different nodes. One is only on the primary node and one is only on the secondary node. And if you want to see the status of only the application, so of the application of the resource group or uh, resource group and their application name, so you can use the option hyphen m with cl or gnpo command. Here, CL or G info hyphen M. You can see the uh, here the, the group name is Apache RG and groups uh, and the bottom of the group name you have the application name that is Apache app. This is the application name of the resource group that uh, which belongs to that resource group and it's online. And it is uh, it's not monitored. This uh, so application is not, not monitored, so there is no information. And it's only on our home node. So just compare these two outputs uh, with hyphen M and without hyphen M. With hyphen M, it's showing the application and uh, also information. And uh, without without any option, the CLRG for command, it will show the only resource group, its state and location. And if you want to see the um, the yeah, delete time uh, timer information or delete fallback timer or settling timer so that are currently uh, active on the local node so you can use the hyphen t option with clrg info command so what is this uh, delay fallback timer so the delay fallback timer uh, so you can configure the uh, fallback behavior of resource group so to occur at uh, one of the predefined uh, recurring time so that means uh, so uh, you can control the fallback time or if you, if you mention the power of the policies uh, fallback to the high priority node so with the delayed fallback timer we can uh, schedule the fallback time of the application or the resource group on the home node with a predefined time so which help you uh, to not fall back with the peak hours so we can make the we can control this uh, control the fallback uh, active uh, event so with the delay timer and what is the settling time settling timer so with this settling timer attributes we can delay the acquisition of the resource group so whenever the whenever it's not the resource uh, uh, resources and whenever you try to bring the resource group uh, by default when the, when the service has started so we it will uh, delay the it, it will uh, delay the acquisition time of the resource group so until the uh, high priority node so what is the which is the home node will come online and join in the cluster so to get this information uh, we need, we can we, we need to run the command cl or g info hyphen t option So we can set these two attributes, delay timer and settling timer, so while creating the resource group. So the resource group policies, we can mention this one. And CLRG info, CLRG info hyphen cap small t. And here, uh, here we didn't, uh, we didn't configure any delay timer here. So here in the delay timer field uh, columns, it will show those inputs. And if you want to see the uh, output of the resource uh, geology command in equivalent format, uh, so you can use uh, the hyphen s option. So the hyphen s option it will show the resource group, its state and location, and its policies all are in uh, equivalent format. And run the command cl or g info hyphen s. And uh, it's Apache or G's application uh, resource group name, and it's online on node one. And it is a non concurrent resource group, it's not a concurrent resource group. And OHN, OHN, and PN, uh, FNPN, and F NFB. So these are the uh, short forms of online on home node, OHN means, and FNPN uh, means uh, follow to next priority node in the list, and NFB means. It is a never fallback. It's a never fallback policy. So in the never fallback policy, we have no need to set any delay timer or uh, settling timer or uh, sorry uh, delay timer here because it's never fallback. So we can manually 
fall back that if you want to fall back automatically uh, uh, we can schedule the fall back uh, this one by using the delay time and it's a site is so, and this option ignorance it's a site ignorance so actually here we don't have any remote site in this cluster so it is ignored now I like that it will show on the uh, this is if it's offline and uh, so if you want to see the uh, resource group policies location and state so with hyphen v option uh, it will be a little more detailed uh, when compared with the remaining options clrg info hyphen v here you can see uh, it will show the cluster name name of the cluster and it's a resource group name and their policies of this resource group startup policy uh, follower policy fallback policy and site policies so the startup policy is online and home mode only and follower policies fall back to the next priority node in the list and fall back policy is never fall back and the site policies it's ignores we don't have any remote site in this nation and if you can see some of the options uh, seal if you want to see the uh, student format, uh, if you run the command seal or in five c it will show the same output as like a clrg info hyphen s command so the both are showing the same output and clrg info uh, hyphen if you want to uh, get any help what are the options available here uh, optional fields available we can run the command so clrg info hyphen h CL or info. Uh, if you want to see only the particular resource group information, uh, you can give the uh, the resource uh, group name here. Uh, CL or info Apache. So it will show the only that particular uh, group information. If you have multiple. Uh,